Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Every now and again, you get a firearm that is superior. It performs at a higher level. It is sitting on higher ground. It's most noticeable when you take it to the range. It performs in a way that you weren't expecting. Maybe you shot better than you deserve to. That happens to me quite often. And you may look at this and say, that's nothing more than another Palmer frame striker fire 9mm handgun. And I could see why you would say that, but it's not the truth. This is very different, and it performs at a higher level. Let me get into it and explain to you why this is different. This is a Kimber Carbon Compact. It is called a Carbon Compact because the frame is carbon fiber. Kimber says it's carbon fiber infused matrix that makes it super strong. Now, polymer comes in various grades. Some are stronger, some are weaker. You may have heard of glass-filled nylon polymer and various other types. They're, they're different. This is carbon fiber infused. This is stronger than every one of those polymers out there. So it's, a, it's a certainly a strong frame and a very well stippled frame. Now this is in the R7 Mako family. All right, so you've seen the subcompact. This is the carbon compact. The stippling is very nice. Now, it does come with four back straps. I changed out one of the back straps. I've got a medium sized back strap on there, and it is really, really nice. Great fit. And I like the texturing all throughout. It's also ambidextrous. So you see the magazine release, slide stop located on both sides. And many times when the magazine release is ambi. The left side, it, it's really stiff because it is ambi. Not in this case. It's actually quite easy. Then if you use your trigger finger, it's just as simple. So they, they did that part right. It's got a 3.9 inch barrel and 15 round mags. All right, it comes with two. I'm going to show you what is in the case. Optic ready. You can purchase this with the Holosun 407K. It does have a RMS C footprint or you can purchase it without and get any variant in that footprint but a direct mount so it's super cool and then it has night sights one third co-witness too so you've got true glow night sights white in the rear a orange tritium front night sight forward serrations and a flat trigger the trigger is really nice, and everybody tells you that. Oh, the trigger's so nice. One of the reasons why the trigger is very nice is because it has this indentation, very high undercut, and so when you grip it, your hand is higher on the gun, so when you pull that trigger, to me, it's just, it's sort of like getting a great point of aim. I get that same feeling with this. Now, Kimber says this is breaking between five and six and a half pounds. I'm measuring it just under five pounds. And I, I appreciate when manufacturers have a, a range there. They don't say, oh, it's just, it's this. Because one, it, it depends on the scale you use. Two, it depends on where the scale is located on the trigger. And three, it depends on the strength of the spring. They're not all the same. So they give a range there. This one's breaking a little bit, like 4.7 pounds. Okay, we'll just get that out of the way. Very nice overall feel. It does have a... Flared magwell, you could remove that, but I, I I like it. Give sort of a base there. And let me show you what's in the case. And then I want to tell you five things I love about it and two things that I think could use improvement. It comes in this cardboard box with this nylon case. It says Kimber right there. And it has the, the pouch here. It comes with a chamber flag. Another pouch there. Uh, there's the additional mag and then over here we've got the paperwork and the additional the lock and then the additional back straps all right comes with four in total all right so that's that the one thing i really love about the handgun and i already mentioned it and that is the strength of the frame carbon fiber infused i think that is awesome when you feel this there is just no give whatsoever with the frame so it is very strong shoots incredibly well the recoil impulse was minimal with nine millimeter and i was using the 124 grain loads secondly it does have the side ejector ejection port so i, I used to say well what's the difference because 
it's not going to make a difference with my optic. Then all of a sudden I had to, I found myself cleaning the glass on my optic more than I was used to. That prevents the gases from going into the glass on your optic. So that, that's always a nice touch. I think Kimber did a great job with that. And I, I just think more manufacturers should do that. The part that I love is the trigger. I mentioned it, 4.7 pounds. I want to talk about what I don't love about it. Okay, there's the reset right there. Very nice trigger. Shoots extremely well. The thing that I'd like to see, see that blade there? It's wider than a Glock, but I'd like to see it even a little wider than that. Because after a couple hundred rounds, I started feeling it on my finger. I started feeling it pinch a little bit. Is it going to make a difference in a self-defense scenario? No, but if you can make that just a little bit wider, it, it just prevents that entirely. Okay, the shooting accuracy is what I really loved. I thought this was great. You know, I, I just took it out, sighted it in the dot, and was just ringing steel easily. Like, better than I deserved. Here we have the cheap sterling steel case, 115 grain, 9 millimeter. Let's see how it does. Pretty good. <laughs> I am really getting into this handgun. So I, I felt so confident after just a couple boxes of ammo that it was at a higher level. <laughs> okay, and then lastly, I, the thing I really dig is the disassemble. You just pull these tabs down, pull the trigger. Oh, the trigger's already pulled. Okay, and then it just comes off like that. Other manufacturers do that as well, and I like those too, but I like this carbon compact because I think it's super cool. 3.9 inch barrel, and then there is, that's kind of HK-ish with that big base right there, and perhaps that has something to do with the low recoil impulse, and then you just put it on, just get it into place like that, and then charge the slide, and you're good to go. Let's get the carbon compact on the scale. I also want to mention this. Love the flared mag well. I think it looks cool when the mag sits down a little bit. And therefore, I think the 15 round mags could easily be increased to 17 or 18 rounds. And let the base of the mag come down a little bit like that. And then you can still offer the 15 round mags. But higher capacity would be nice especially with that flared mag well quick mag changes and everything else but let me go ahead and get this thing on the scale it is weighing in at one pound nine and a quarter ounces we move that to just ounces 25 and a quarter here are 15 rounds 31 and a half and then here we'll have the carry round you know, we're looking at 31 and 7 eighths. So it's right there if you're interested in carrying this handgun. So accurate, easy to shoot, and therefore I think it stands on higher ground. I think, I think you will too, but this is the kind you actually have to check out for yourself. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.